Good morning. I'm sure you know some people who are like this. They don't want to be a problem, right? Uh, for instance, they go to a restaurant with some other people and then somebody suggested, let's order the same dish, all of us. It will be easier for the chef. And then we are less of a problem to them here in the restaurant. You know? I'm sure you know people who are like this. And maybe somebody says, well, so what do we order? Well, we order uh, omelettes. You know? We all order omelettes. That's easy to make. You know? <laughs> and one of them says, well, I really don't like omelettes, but sure. I'll eat an omelette. I don't want to be a problem, you know? <laughs> I'm the exact opposite to this. I love to be a problem, you know? I would be the one who says, no, I don't want an omelette. And the other ones get upset, you know? I'm that person. You know? uh, that's one of the reasons I enjoy this time so much right now, because I know I am a problem to quite a few people. No. And you are too, most of you who are watching, you are a problem. We, together, we are a problem. Yeah. Because we didn't participate in the me medical experiment. I I'm going to tell you one story here from Sweden. You know, there's so much going on, so much. And um, I have a long list of videos that I want to make. See. This is one of them. I've been wanting to, to make talk about this for a long time. Well, a few days, <laughs> at least. Five days, maybe. So, this is the story. It's about us, those of us who didn't take it. The pure bloods. Um, so, there was a debate in a hospital. This is a major hospital in Uppsala. Just recently, they had this debate. They invited these uh, professors and specialists, and they wanted to talk about what to do about us. You know? What to do about those people who didn't participate. The pure bloods. What do we do about them? It's true, that was the debate. So, why are they talking about this, you think? Well, what do you think? Maybe they just care about us so much. They want to make sure that we get the tea, you know, we get the injection, because it's good for us, you think? Or they don't want to, they, they want to stop the spread, you know? No, these are professors working in this field. They know it doesn't stop anything. So, I strongly suspect that they want to handle this problem with us because we are a problem, actually, to them. Yeah. Because we are a control group. We didn't take it. It would be very nice for them if everybody took it, right? There would be nobody there to compare the results to. But now there's us. Now that's what I suspect. So they want to deal with it. <laughs> and then there was this suggestion. This is fantastic. Uh, so they talked about this, uh, what to do. And then there was one of them who had this suggestion. Uh, it's a professor, Gunilla Carlson here at the Stam. That's her name. Female. Right? Oh. <laughs> wow, this was the suggestion. They should employ 15-year-old ambassadors. <laughs> right. Lots of them. Right? And the job of these 15-year-olds is to convince others to take it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> can you just imagine this? Oh, I can. Oh. There's a knock on the door and I open the door and outside there's this 15-year-old girl. <laughs> she wants to talk to me about taking the tea. 
<laughs> this is too stupid. Of course she was inspired. The suggestion is inspired by Greta, of course. Well, that's what I think. Oh, Greta, she had this immense impact on people. Why don't we get all these 15-year-olds <laughs> to do this job? I also saw this. Uh, this was sent to me by a guy, and uh, this is from Wales. Right? So the healthcare director wrote a letter. Her name is Judith Paget, and she sent the letter to all the healthcare workers in Wales, I think. Right? Uh, and she wants to encourage them to take the, the last one, the, the last booster. See? And she says, I'm sorry to say that so far the data for healthcare workers is very disappointing. So these healthcare workers, they don't take it as much as they should. No, she says she's very disappointed. Right? I don't know what it means. What it means? Maybe 5% took it or something. Or maybe 1%. I don't know. But she's disappointed. So I was looking at this, you know, I would be surprised, really, if any nurse or any doctor took it today. Uh, absolutely. No. Well, these people hear these stories, of course, and they talk to people. People come into the hospital, right? And of course, as a doctor or a nurse, you talk to the patient and you ask the person, so what's wrong? Of course. Well, did something happen? Well, I took the to tea, you know, had this injection, and then this happened. You know, of course, these nurses and doctors, they know what's going on. So that's what I say. I would be extremely surprised if anyone took it, any nurse, any doctor, today. And, you know, the problem is getting bigger now, isn't it? Because now, if there's only a few of them who took it, well, it's very easy. If all these people now suddenly die or something, you know, those people who took it now, of these healthcare workers, the problem is even bigger, right? It's become so obvious. All the other ones are fine, but these five who took it, they are all dead now, you know. Right. I also listened to Andrew Bridgen again. You know, he did this speech in the, par the House of Commons on Friday. And then he did another one outside to the supporters. I listened to that one too. I was so moved by this. The support he got from these people and him. You know, I was so... As I said, I'm so impressed with Andrew Bridgen. That was great. Another thing that I saw was a perfectly normal thing that happened <laughs> when he was doing the speech in the House of Commons. This was aired on BBC, right? And then they had these, the text, they had text under Andrew Bridgen. So BBC, they were adding texts commenting the stuff that he was saying, you know, sort of arguing with him. Well, that's perfectly normal. Oh, yeah, this we see this all the time, right? When a politician is talking, there's text under. No, I never saw this, ever. BBC, they did it. Right. Well, that's all. Be good.